Hey y'all, good morning. It's your girl, Poppin' Shay, but you knew that already. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over what my first week back looks like as a stay-at-home, work-from-home mom with a newborn. He is seven weeks old. And as I said, this was my first week back. So let's take a look into what my daily routine has been like. able to get about an hour's worth of work done before this boy woke up. Um, as I stated previously, he's been wanting to do a lot of contact naps. He'll be dead asleep in my arms and then the second I put him down, either in his boppy, in his bassinet, wherever I put him down, he's up within 10 minutes just looking at me either laughing or smiling or what have you. So I'm attempting to put him back to sleep. Um, trying to get some work done at the same time since it looks like he's not going down. <laughs> if I start to notice he's not being too whiny, I can lay him down and he'll just lay there, look at that picture behind me, which he loves for some reason, and he'll just entertain himself. He's at a great point right now. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to attempt to get some more work done before I take a break and get ready for the day because as you can tell, I'm still in the bed and still in my robe, so I haven't gotten a chance to even make my coffee. <laughs>
Okay, so it's 10.55 right now. He's taking a nap and I just finished um, going through new patient records. That's um, one thing, one of my job titles. <laughs> so I just finished all the ones that I had for the morning. So I'm gonna take a 15 minute break while he's still sleeping and get in the shower, brush my teeth, and then we'll go in the living room so that I, I'm not just sitting in the bed all day. I like to change the scenery. So I'm gonna do that now and then I'll come back and show y'all the rest of our day. Cause usually around 12-ish is when he starts wanting to be on me and I try to make my coffee and lunch and all that good stuff. So see y'all in a second. <laughs> posting um, insurance payments to patients accounts. So what I do is I go in the system and I post the check um, and I make the adjustment, like a write off of this is what we charge them, this is what they paid and this leftover amount, I go ahead and you know adjust off of the, their account. So I just did one check, which was about 30 pages. Um, so I just finished that and he's been, he's still asleep but like he's been making little movements and making noises here and there. So I went ahead and prepped him a bottle. I also pumped while I was working, but I didn't show that because I can't really show y'all my nipple. <laughs> so I pumped and then I made him a bottle. <clears throat> and of course, now that I'm talking, Cece's gonna chew on her bone. So we're gonna make this quick. I just did one check. I have two more, I think. And then I'm done for the day. Um, Thankfully, as of right now, since it's my first week back, my dad hasn't, who's my boss, y'all know my dad's my boss if you've been watching, but he hasn't really held me to like, you need to be, you know, nine to five. Um, since it's my first week back, it's just like, here's all your work. Let's see, you know, how you can manage your time, which is great. We love having grace. <laughs> so um, I did my first check of the day. And then this morning, like I said, I did records and whenever he's ready to wake up, I'm gonna send him, I mean, I send him, I'm going to give him a bottle.
which is gonna be pretty soon. So, yeah. I'll check in with y'all whenever he wakes up. <laughs> As I said, he was starting to make noises, uh, signaling that he wanted to go ahead and wake up. So we're just gonna wake up, do the diaper change and feeding. Um, and I suggest keeping a diaper caddy in the living room um, just to make it easier so you don't have to get up every time if you're not in the bedroom to get the supplies you need. So yeah, we're just gonna do that and get back to work. stuff I would need for his diaper change. I also have that ointment, tubby time, nail clipper, and for the butters. And I usually keep a burp cloth in here, but I have it up here because I'm about to feed him. So yeah, let's eat. If I could um, show y'all my work, that would probably be better, but you know HIPAA. Can't be showing y'all people's personal information and such. But this is how, whenever he's awake, this is how it's been working for us. I will have to prop him up either in his boppy or on a pillow like I have now. Feed him, post a couple monies, 
and I'm, I burp him in between every ounce. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And it's not usually this silent. I'm watching Game of Thrones, and I don't want to get copyright. So, I paused it so that I can, you know, talk to y'all. But yeah, so I do my work, feed him. That's how it goes. I feel like during this newborn stage, it's gonna be easiest because his wake windows aren't that long. It's the longest it's been is like an hour straight that he's been awake. And he's chilling during that time. He just wants to like look up at the light, look at the ceiling fans, like that's it pretty much. So yeah, we're about to eat, burp, take a nap again probably for him. I'm gonna finish my banana, do my work, watch Game of Thrones. <laughs> so yeah as soon as he finished his bottle my connection went down so I'm going to take this opportunity to change him <laughs> put him in some new clothes so yeah we're about to do that now um let's see mm -hmm. this is his closet I need to, uh, there's all these clothes in his pack and play that I need to hang up and take some of those clothes down um, because he is growing out of his newborn size and majority of his clothes in this pack and play and in the closet, majority of them are zero to three months. Oh no, actually I don't have many zero to three months hung up. So I'm gonna take some newborn stuff down and hang up the zero to three months because he'll be in that shortly. I already feel it. Let me see if he has a bib. Mm -mm -mm. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and change him and then try my connection again. Um, and yeah, I'll probably be done with work shortly. And then whenever my coworkers resume from their lunch break i um verify insurances for the afternoon so by the time i'm done with posting all the checks i have to post um he'll be down for a nap hopefully and then my coworkers at the office will start sending me um they'll start sending me somebody's in my yard it's very interesting um, my coworkers will start sending me insurances to verify. So, yeah. See y'all soon. <laughs> he was getting a little fussy in his bouncer, so I'm going to try to put him to sleep now. He's so strong. Lifting his neck up. He should be laying down so he can go to sleep. So I'm just going to, like, pat him to the bed. Hopefully he'll go down for a few doing? hours and then I'll be done with work because it's 2.20 right now. And on Fridays we close at 4.30, so I don't have much time left. I was so entirely yeah. by the Battle of Summer Hall. Okay guys, my shift officially ended at 4.30. So I went ahead and changed. I'm gonna go to Ingles, get some groceries for dinner tonight. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you all enjoyed. Please like, share, subscribe, comment down below what you think of this video if you wanna see more. 
let me know as you can tell i have time on my hands working from home now so thank you all for watching as always have a popping day